up, Sala family? Welcome back to Vlogmas. If you're new here, make sure to click subscribe to join the family. If you want to be soft. As you can see, it is mukbang time. Yeah, there. Have we done? I don't think we... It's been a long time since it's we've actually done It's been a long, a long time since we did a mukbang. And we like to eat. We sure do. Please give us a reason to eat. So, uh, we have some crunchy chicken. Comment below, guess what chicken this is from. What chicken spot is this mm -hmm. from off of just the way it looks mm -hmm. look at the fries the biscuits the comment chicken. below exactly do your old detective thing put it all together but the star is this right here this is the viral hot i don't know what they call it hot syrup we're doing the nuclear chicken challenge dang cowgirl slow down we ain't even saying grace yet you like oh, 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 oh. Bruh. Save me uh, you know, I don't know how many biscuits you plan on having, but you know. <laughs> I love me some bread, so two you know. And oh. two. Did you turn twisters I, all the yeah, way? In? Yeah. Okay. Did you take your little plastic out? Yeah, oh, look, okay. see yours wasn't twisted. I, I <laughs> caught that. I caught that. About to have a whole mess. I've been thinking about this all day. Oh my god. Wow. I gotta rub it in another piece of chicken. Huh? Why can't you just I don't know. I don't like just. It's a little oh, too saucy for me. Okay, I gotta, that's you know what's what going saying? on. Okay, I ain't know. I ain't yeah, know. Yeah, just a little, you know what I'm saying? Smear it in a little oh, bit. Oh, goodness. This is about to be crazy. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. I wanted to taste it at the same time. Oh, at the same time. Okay, give me a second. Give me. One, two, three. Uh. It's pretty good. It is. It got a little kick too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely got a kick. All back there, it's a whole bunch of kicking, like just you know what I'm saying, kicking in my throat. All right, so we're gonna answer a few questions while we eat, unless our mouth starts really burning. Will y'all ever give y'all selves a traditional wedding? This person really knows us, cause no, we did not have a traditional wedding. Yeah, they been watching. Mm hmm. Shout out to you just for being like that in depth with us you know what i'm yeah. saying so yeah. the quick answer is yes but it would be called a, a ceremony or mm -hmm. renewal yeah. yeah we both technically always envisioned and wanted that but circumstantially that was the only reason why we didn't have it plus she was pregnant then you know what i'm saying i'm sure you like you know so covid yeah and covid which is the biggest thing we definitely wanted a wedding like the big party mm -hmm. but it was just like we didn't want it that much to where we were going to just not get married yeah it's still in the works it's still in the plans we want to do it to where it's like our dream wedding you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. kids will even be a part of it now you know what i'm saying so it works out for everybody yeah what are y'all hoping to learn in the coming year Everything that I can, really. But if I can be more specifically, I'm trying to learn things to better myself with my health. Um, I'm trying to find ways to better myself as far as being a husband to my wife, a father to my kids. I'm trying to learn things to better myself in my craft and what I do. Um, you know, etc., etc. along those lines. You know what I'm saying? Before my ass to get long and drawn out. But, you know, I mean, I think I'm just striving to be a better version than what I was this year. Babe, you kind of took my answer. Oh, what's cool? It ain't, it ain't like nobody said it can't be duplicated. It's like for me. <laughs> one of the main things that I've always hoped to do in life is to just be a better me and make sure I just stay self-aware of who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to be mentally lost and I want to just be the better version of who i am mm -hmm. because i just believe when you're making sure to learn more about yourself i just think in order for me to be a better wife a better mom a better businesswoman, all that type of stuff i do have to be a better me you know what i'm saying it starts with me what was the first thought when you guys first met each other you guys are the best and i will always support you love you guys Oh, That's well, sweet. we appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And we love you too. It's two types of scenes, right? It's two types of scenes. It's like the, okay, because at least for me, I don't think we started like talking like on the first date. And she sat behind me. So, you mm -hmm. know, it wasn't like I was doing like this, you know what I'm saying, on the first day of class. But when I first seen her, as in like, peeped her, <coughs> it's looking, <coughs> peeped her, 
her beauty, her personality. When I first realized, like, yo, this girl that's flirting with me is fine as hell. Hold up, yo. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, you thought I was just... Some... Hold up. <laughs> no, it's not even like that. Nah, it's I feel just, you. I it's feel just you. like I just wasn't like... You know, I was very kind of shy and in a shell. So I was very to myself and I wasn't necessarily like checking for anybody or like looking for nobody or nothing like that. I think like you kind of just open up a little like vulnerability in a sense because she was the only person I talked to in class for the longest. Like if I talked to anybody else, it was like maybe he was doing a group project. But other than that, she's the only person I talked to in class, you know. And I feel like you actually had like a few little like friends in the class and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? She was the popular girl in class. But yeah, that was my first thoughts. I thought she was beautiful. I thought she was fine. Um, I thought she was funny. I thought she had a great personality. And I thought she had great natural beauty. Okay? She didn't wear no makeup when we was in college. That's so true. She didn't wear any makeup. And I wore, I think, my natural hair. Yeah. And she wore natural hair. So it was nothing to hide. It was nothing to trick nobody with. It was no sort of foolery. It was like, yo, this girl is just real raw and fine. Just like this. She can do whatever she want to do. If she want to put on some makeup or whatever, like, it's not going to change anything that I'm just, I'm attracted to her in her most rawest, vulnerable state. Um, what you trying to get a little something, something? Yeah, yeah. That's how I felt, Trying to get though. a little something, something that's, after, that's, after that's, the video. <laughs> that's really how I felt, though, babe. You know what I'm saying? And um, she just stuck out from everybody in class. First time you came into class, I think maybe you came into class late. I wouldn't be surprised if I did because of car issues as far as parking because <laughs> I had to drive on campus. So, yeah, I remember being late to a lot of classes because I had issues like parking on time. I just remember you definitely came in. I was already sitting down. You were just fine. You know? Thank you. Thank you. Well dressed. And he, he, it was the shoulders for me. He just, I don't know. It was just like, you could just tell that you was that guy. Mm, mm. Okay, she talking about she trying to get a little something felt. started after talking Duh, about me. No, that's how I felt. We just like you know what he's that guy. And you having a polo? Yeah, she loved polo, and that's all I wore at the time. We wore very nice polos. Mm -hmm. One of my celebrity crushes was um, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. So <clears> I mean, I don't know. I think that had something to do with it too. And you had um, well at the moment. I know. I know you had facial hair. But I don't know if it was as... I didn't have a beard. I just had hair, a little yeah. hair on my chin. Yeah. <clears throat> so I peeped that like, okay. And then the brows, like... I just, look, I can go on and on. Yeah. I can go on, on with the first impression. Just stop. Just stop for, you know what I'm saying, we end up with a baby number three. So, you know what I'm saying? Because you're but, talking um, really, that's, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and, and, and I like that you kind of held like a mystery to you. Mm-hmm. Cause, Cause you were quiet, you mm -hmm. you were quiet, and you know I'm like, well, I'm gonna have mm. to get up in that thing. Like, hey, hey, who are you? What's your name? At first, I didn't know if you were that interested. You know, I'm just mm. like, I didn't know. I was in a <clears> position <throat> where I was actually putting myself out there a little bit, cause he was so quiet that he wasn't really like making anything very, very clear. It wasn't until, mm -hmm. for me, for me personally, it wasn't until we went back to my dorm and I think you were waiting for another class. Mm -hmm. So you just chilled at my dorm. Mm -hmm. And I laid on the bed with my eyes closed. I think I was taking a nap or resting or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he kissed me. Yep, yep, yep. He snuck a kiss. <laughs> and that's when I was Little like, sniper. Oh. Mm -hmm. I said, oh. Mm -hmm. and, big big on and I And I was even more attracted to the fact that you, it's although you were risk. quiet, although you were quiet and you had like a mystery mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. it showed how bold you were as well. Yeah, it was just yeah. like, wow, this man is quiet and low key. He's willing to step forward and take loud actions. It's some quiet ones you got to watch out for. That's how it was, a little sniper. So I'm like, <laughs> ooh, he a little bold. <laughs> yep. And that's that's what was just like wow okay I'm kind of full. Me too. And I had I had two legs and a thigh. Doing. I only had two legs. You know what I'm saying? So if we had two whole chickens in front of us, only my legs would be gone. Yours legs would be gone and part of his thigh. He'd be kind of like you know what I'm saying like this. I will say I'm gonna just keep it a buck. I think this is overhyped. After um taking time. 
to eat it and kind of give it a chance, it's not as good as I thought it was going to mm, be. Mm, mm. It's actually not. It's not bad, but it ain't. It's it it's ain't, not up there. Yeah. And I think maybe as what this is really intended, I think this is really intended for like pouring in some ramen or pouring it in maybe a barbecue sauce with a little mm -hmm. fusion, you to know give what I'm it a saying? Kick. Yeah. Maybe a little dap on the, on your eggs in the morning. I can see that. Maybe a breakfast burrito. Mm -hmm. Just add a little bit. A little dab. But far as an actual like sauce, like even some actual chicken wings, I don't think it would hit like this. Mm. It wouldn't hit like that. That's my personal thoughts. Okay, so we're gonna ask one more question since we're about done. Um, advice to your younger self. Trinity and Steven answer separately. I mean, <laughs> well, they made it clear. They said, hey, separately. <laughs> um, these biscuits ain't got no reason to be this good. Mm -hmm. I would tell my younger self not feel like you have to be so strong. Mm. I would tell my younger self, hey, you're a little too strong right now. You don't have to. Keep being strong. It's okay to break. Mm -hmm. mm. Put the walls down. <clears throat> yeah. That's good. I would tell myself to, my younger self, to not be so overly considerate. Did you say something like that? Mm -mm. Did you say? Okay, I didn't know if I was tripping. Without sounding vague, uh, when I was really, really young, and I'm talking young as even a kid, like 11, 12 years old. I thought a lot about like decisions I made and how it would affect other people. Why was I thinking like that? I don't know. But <laughs> um, just imagine a young boy not telling his parents certain things and they have the answers. They have the solutions to my problem. But I'm thinking I don't want to be a burden to my parents. They're my parents. You should tell them. They can help you with your problem. They can take you out of what troubles you have instead of thinking I don't want to be a problem to them. I don't want to be a burden to them. My parents did nothing to me to make me feel that way. I just felt that way. So I would tell my younger yeah. self, yo, you are a kid. Tell your parents what's going on. Tell your parents your Speak issues. Up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I think um, I would just, you know, be less considerate of, of other people. Also, there's one other thing. It wasn't as deep as that, but I wanted to say the deep one first. Um, I would tell myself... Uh, my freshman self, stop horse playing. <laughs> stop horse playing uh, around in wrestling practice because now you got an injury that technically affected you your whole wrestling career in high school. And I know y'all hear me say, well, I came seventh in the state because of an injury. And you probably think, that's cap. No, it's not cap. We ain't going to just say it. Yeah, we ain't yeah. going to say stuff just because you say it. I don't, I'm not that type of person. I'm not that type of person. I was extremely good. Um, and I got injured from horse playing around. We was playing football with a Gatorade bottle and a hundred, 140 pound me rammed shoulders with somebody that was 190 pounds and I knocked him over, but I also knocked my shoulder out of socket. You know what I'm saying? And my shoulder was never the same. And I had a lot of like surgeries and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So because of that, um, I didn't, I didn't, uh, succeed how I wanted to in wrestling. Like, I was very good, but I wasn't uh, a state champion. I won plenty of tournaments. Y'all, click that join button, because I'm going to show all y'all the rewards. I'm going to show all y'all the receipts. I got my medals, too. She got she got medals, too. You so, know what I'm yeah, saying? So, yeah, my parents going to be shipping them. Yep, yep. So, um, but yeah, you got to click that join button, and you can see it all. I tell myself, girl... Don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Still work out. Still stay in shape. Mm -hmm. You know what? Nah. I take, <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> you said no, no, no. Yeah, because look, man, some of that food is served for that time look, of your life. You're plus, a happy weight. Plus, one thing that just hit me was I was in shape. Like, I was in yeah. shape. I just... I had a baby girl, and then shortly after, pretty much, mm -hmm. I had a baby boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's like, well, dang, you was in shape right before you got pregnant. Two times. 
bang bang all right y'all so we're gonna go ahead and end out this mukbang um if you guys want to shout out like the join member below you already know what you gotta do click that join button click it click that join i dare you <laughs> also if you want to see more of us through vlogmas Come back tomorrow. Yes. We'll be here. We'll We've be been here. going strong. I'm actually pretty surprised. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of us. It ain't over yet, but I'm still proud of right. us. Right. You know Lord. Straight up. Um, but yeah, come back tomorrow. We ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We be right here waiting at the door. Like, come on in. You know? And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Peace.